Oh my gosh, what are you doing? Come here. Don't be shy. Say hello to everyone. They haven't seen you in a while. They miss you, baby. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Hello, everybody. Chip is being high maintenance today. So I've left the door open so he can come and go as he pleases. You can stay here. Oh, I wish Chip would sit over so you guys could see him. Will you sit on this side so everybody can see your cute little face? There you go. <laughs> Anyways, you guys know this backdrop is like a work in progress right now. I just don't know about the lighting just yet or the sound. I'm still working on it, so... Sorry if it's bad lighting in this video. I'm hoping that it's not, but I kind of think it is. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, but today we are doing part two of the video. I don't know, is this gonna be an annual thing? I haven't even like mentally prepared for what I'm about to do and I've just sat down and realized what I'm doing today. <laughs> Two seconds later. Okay, did I fix the lighting a little? I can't tell if I'm fixing anything or if I'm making it worse. Today, we are going to be trying the same costume but from two different brands now that may not sound that exciting i remember when i first did this video because i did it last year as well and i was like what am i even doing like this video doesn't make any sense but then you guys commented that it was very entertaining and quite funny seeing the differences in the costumes so i thought you know what let's do it again because it's halloween and i wanted a halloween video and here we are. I swear, I cannot get a quiet house if I tried. I have been waiting all morning for the leaf blower to quit, and now Chip is barking. Chip! No! I mean, that's what I get. That's what I get for getting a half chihuahua. But okay, back to the video. So in general, but around Halloween in specific, people always like to be like, Oh, there's two types of girls in the world. Do you wear these costumes or do you wear these costumes? You know what? There is a difference in costumes for sure. Some will be showing a little more leg. Some will be covering more, as you'll see in this video. Characters can be interpreted in different ways. But in my opinion, at the end of the day, if it's not hurting anybody, who cares? Who really cares? So the two brands that we're gonna be comparing today are Amazon versus Fashion Nova costumes. And if you guys think there's gonna be no difference, just wait, because I already purchased these obviously and looked at them and there's a difference and it's quite funny and I'm excited to put them side by side. So let's get started. Now, before we get into this, I just wanna put this out here. I support you in wearing whatever you want. Don't let anybody tell you what you can and cannot wear. I actually remember in grade eight, I was really into off the shoulder tops. And I feel like a lot of people have this exact same story. I was actually sent to the principal's office. They told me I was the leader of the off the shoulder tops and it needed to quit. I don't even know if I was the leader of it. Maybe I was the first one to wear it and people were like, oh fine, I'm gonna pull mine off my shoulder. I don't know. But I was definitely the target. And what did I do? I wore it even harder. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was honestly really, really scared. I had never been sent to the principal's office before. I continued to wear them and eventually they realized that they were being ridiculous and they allowed me to wear my off the shoulder top because guess what? If anybody wants to look at my shoulder and they're a little too attracted to my shoulder, that's their problem, not my problem. And I say the same thing about your costumes. If you wanna wear something that shows a little leg, if you wanna wear something that shows a little cleavage and someone has a problem with that, that's their problem. Wear what you want to wear. And if that's a scandalous Halloween costume, you do you. Let's get into it. Okay, let's start off with our first comparison. We have the pink Power Ranger. What I always find kind of interesting is the Amazon Halloween costumes can say like Power Rangers, like the trademark is on here. But then when it comes to the fashion of the costumes, like this is named Mighty, they can't put 
Power Ranger on this because there must not be like the affiliation. Now when I'm looking at Halloween costumes, I'm always kind of looking at them from the perspective of it's going to be, like there's gonna be snow on the ground <laughs> during Halloween and whether you're trick or treating or you're going out, it's gonna be really cold. So <laughs> I like to try and find something that I could maybe, you know, wear a long john under. And this could slip on a little long john under here, easy. Okay, this suit is actually really, really cute. I like this and I feel like it's character specific. Do the glasses actually come with it? Hold on, because if the glasses come with it, I'm sold. Oh my gosh, these are everything. I will 100% be wearing these. These are going straight into my car. This outfit. This outfit's cute, you guys. This is also a skin tight, almost like cat suit vibe. Let's put it on. Okay, let me just address the elephant in the room really quickly. My microphone is out and everybody can see it. In my last studio, you guys know probably it was hanging from the roof and I have yet to bolt this microphone to the ceiling and I don't want the audio to be bad. So it's just gonna be right here. Here's the movie magic, but Anyways, I'm wearing this. The confidence you would have to have to genuinely wear this. I admire you. I want to be more like you. I aspire to be you because, oh my gosh. I would never wear this out. It's just too much. I mean, what, okay, character-wise, it's a Power Ranger. I get it. Is it flattering? No. no. Do I feel athletic and like I should be able to do a back handspring? Yes, I do. Do I love the sunglasses? Yes, I do. Actually, you know what? I'm being kind of hard on it just because I kind of hate myself in it, but it's not too bad. It's very comfortable. I will say that. And I love pink. If I was wearing this like out, maybe I'd put some snow pants under here as some fake padding, you know, really like make that a thing. Right? But let's see how Fashion Nova did and see which one we like more. You know what's one thing I've recently learned about Halloween costumes is that they are not cheap. Like I understand why families who have like multiple children or even just one, why it's hard to buy a Halloween costume. Cause you're only gonna wear it once probably. And it's pretty pricey. So I get it. Like you gotta thrift them or something. So I will be donating majority of these afterwards. So hopefully some people pick these up and enjoy them. Oh my gosh, the Fashion Nova one has a wig. Okay. Okay, obviously we're seeing Power Rangers in a different light. I definitely have not seen Power Rangers like this before. This is definitely a dolled up version, which like I was saying, lots of people want to look extra I guess extra, I'll just finish it off there. Lots of people wanna look extra on Halloween. I love a wig, okay? You guys know I love a wig. Ooh, I actually love this wig. <gasps> now if I could just figure out a way to tuck all of that into this wig, that would be great. Wait, hold on, look it, it's a different wig though. This is like a long pink wig. This is very short. I actually like this one more and I feel like this is more Power Ranger, but it's different. Let's put this on and see which Power Ranger we like more. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't think I have enough cake for this. Look at my legs. Oh my gosh, this, you know what? This is always what happens when I wear a dress this length. It's like, I feel like Meredith from The Office. You guys remember where it's like casual day and everyone's like, Meredith, can you like pull your skirt down a little? And then she pulls it down and her boob falls out and then she pulls it up and everything's out. Yeah. That's me right now. The wig is gonna make this all look so purposeful. Hello, can I please get into the club? No, 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 I swear. I swear I'm on the list. <sighs> okay, let's look. Don't be scared, just look. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Just look at me. You know what? You may not have been expecting this, but I actually don't hate this. I think if I was gonna wear it, I would just put a little seam in here so that these actually fit my legs because clearly I'm not filling them out correctly. If these fit better, I think that it would look a lot better. Like it'd look more purposeful. Sorry, <laughs> like I said, I'm Meredith. You gotta remember too with 
kind of costumes like the Power Rangers. I would assume it's probably a group costume with all of the other Power Rangers. So this would look a lot better if I wasn't alone in this room. I think in comparison to the Amazon Power Ranger, there are pieces that I like to both. One good thing is in both costumes, I think you know what you are. You're a Power Ranger, you're the pink Power Ranger, for sure, that's good. I love a wig, that's definitely a bias for me. I think in the other costume, if I had this wig on, I would feel better. It just feels like when you put on a wig, you put on a different identity. I could do without this just completely. Oh, I feel like I look less like a Power Ranger now though. I think the belt is actually necessary. <laughs> Ooh, let's do the astronaut next. I actually was desperately looking for an astronaut costume last year. No, two years ago. COVID makes me forget what year it is. Was this two years ago? It had to be because it was before COVID. Anyways, I was being an alien and my man was being an astronaut. We could not find an astronaut costume at all. So then I ended up being Remy from Ratatouille and he was a chef. But now I have an astronaut costume. It's called Lift Off. And again, it's kind of like a power cat suit. I always feel like the accessories kind of make the outfit. So let me look. These are the, are these armbands? No, these are for the feet. Oh, they go, oh, they go over the shoe. And then we have the kind of like, Harness? I like this suit. Hoo-hoo, should I be an astronaut? Let's put it on and see what we think of Amazon's rendition of an astronaut. Okay, this is cute. I like this. Okay, let me figure out how to put this on though. Oh my, I think this goes over the shoulder. <laughs> We're ready to go to space. No, no, trust me, I got this. This is what I'm talking about. Why wear something uncomfortable when you could wear something comfortable? This is so comfortable. <gasps> okay, I'm an astronaut. I, for some reason, cannot get this on correctly. It's just not built great. Everybody knows what you are. There is no question you're an astronaut. This is so comfortable. I actually feel like this bodysuit is slightly flattering. I don't know if I'm just looking the viewfinder and I can hardly see it and I'm squinting, so it looks really good. Oh my gosh, these are real pockets. <laughs> I'm so used to being tricked by a fake pocket. I love it. Is this a real pocket? OMG, these are real pockets. This is actually really nice. If you wanna be an astronaut, I definitely suggest this one. It's comfy, it's cozy. The amazing thing about this is you could just put like leggings on underneath and then you wouldn't be as cold. Now I say that, but I also know a lot of people watching this are probably from places where it doesn't get cold in Halloween season. So you probably wouldn't have to worry about that. But for my Canadians and other people where it gets cold, this is great for that. Okay, Fashion Nova really brought the heat with this astronaut costume because, oh my. I mean, as I said, some people on Halloween and in general, they wanna show off, okay? And nothing wrong with that. I will say, if you see me wearing this, call the police because it's not me and I have an, a twin. Actually, don't call the police, it's fine. I probably just have a twin. And they're probably cooler than me. Okay, quality. These actually feel really good quality. I'm kind of loving this fabric. It's almost like a satiny fabric. And then we have, are these for the arms? Yes, the armbands. And then the plunging, almost like racer back top. This is actually for sure the highest quality costume that I've unboxed. Not, maybe not to the day. Actually, you know what? This might be the highest quality to this day costume I've ever tried on in my entire life. Did you think it would be this one? Did you? Oh yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Love it. Oh my God. My eyes are literally watering. What are these? Ow! Warning, warning, I am gonna spin around because you guys need to know what's going on in the back here. Oh my gosh! That was a lot of cheek action. Yes, it was indeed. I would never, ever go out in public like this. I will say though, if you would, Share some confidence with the rest of us. 
Although I will say from here up, it's rather cute. I would wear maybe a pair of black jeans and then this would be like a less in your face way to be an astronaut than the Amazon costume. But if you were looking to be a little cutting edge and you wanted to be an astronaut and you were thinking about this suit, here it is on me, good quality. It's a little bit up for debate if people would know off the bat if you were an astronaut, just because I've never seen an astronaut actually dress like this. I prefer that one, but I can also appreciate this one. And that's all I gotta say. Okay, I'm most excited about this one. I'm not even gonna show you the Amazon one just yet, but this is like a Buzz Lightyear. Why am I doing the quotes? It's a Buzz Lightyear outfit. And the one from Amazon is my, probably my favorite costume. But this one from Fashion Nova, you guys. I kind of laughed out loud when I saw this because Buzz Lightyear isn't a outfit that I thought they could make like scandalous. Oh, but they did. They surely did. First of all, sunglasses. Boom! Love it. And then we have the little bottoms with the belts and uh, the top. Like, this is a lot. I feel like if you wanted to dress like this, it'd be like, why do you want to be Buzz Lightyear? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's probably the only thing I'm finding a little bit weird about this because it's like, I guess it's not really a kid's movie, but it just seems like a weird choose, okay? Sorry for being a hater. I support you in wearing it, but like, why Buzz Lightyear? I mean, the pieces are cute enough. The idea's there. You could definitely tell you're a Buzz Lightyear of some sort because of the coloring, but I'm just not a huge fan. <laughs> Ah, this is freaking weird, okay? I stand by what I said. I don't like the idea of a sexy Buzz Lightyear. I don't know, I just don't like it. But you know what? It exists, and here it is. Why is this so floppy? Okay, okay, you know what? I just need to get into a better mental headspace. <sighs> Let me just think. Let's get past the fact that I personally don't like the idea of Buzz Lightyear looking like this. There, I said it. I'm sorry. And the quality is okay. I like the details here, like Buzz Lightyear. Of course, we're thonging out. Like, the fabric is up. It's up. It's kind of nice to have a backpack as well and you could fit some stuff in there like maybe a jacket in case it gets cold. I think again this would look better if you were more in a group setting like we have Woody, me, maybe an alien. That would make this feel better. Now I must say I'm very excited for the Amazon Buzz Lightyear so let's just get to that. Now forget everything you knew about Fashion Nova's outfit because I'm about to I'm about to show you the other one. Here we have a Toy Story Disney Pixar. One size fits most adults. Inflatable Buzz Lightyear. You got two types of people in the world. World. The ones who wear an inflatable Buzz Lightyear outfit. And the ones, and the that, ones don't. that don't. <laughs> I am so excited. I love inflatable costumes. They are so fun. I don't know when the first inflatable costume was made, but it was a slam dunk. Okay, I think this is the little headpiece. It's funny, I went with my dad to like go-karting and we had to wear these and it was really funny, but yeah. Okay, we have the blow up costume here. You know, these are great. The only thing that's annoying about them is they obviously have a pump to inflate them and it's a little loud. So hopefully when I put it on, it's not too loud. You guys can hear me, but if you can't hear me, you can at least see me and I'm gonna look like this. So let's put it on. I must go find. <laughs> I need to go find a battery. Give me one minute. <laughs> I thank thy mom for getting me double A's. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Seriously, come on. Come on. This is called, you want attention at a Halloween party? It's this simple, people. Show up in this, you will get the attention. And the other nice thing about this is it's like constantly blowing cool air on me. So if it gets a little hot in the club, 
you got cool air blowing on you. Oh my gosh, you know what would be awful though? If you like, your batteries died. Cause then it would just be like what it was before, which is less fun. This is totally it. I love the feet. Oh my gosh, I didn't even notice the feet. Oh my gosh, oh, oh, I didn't even notice the backpack. This is amazing. I don't wanna get out of this. Seriously, inflatable costumes are so fun. There's two types of Buzz Lightyears in the world and it's pretty clear which one wins. Also, I'm moving so much in here, but it really doesn't look like I'm moving that much. Boom, 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 boom. This is amazing. Best costume. This is gonna be hard to beat, people. Next we have the Wizard of Oz Dorothy costume, or as Fashion Nova, AKA Leg Avenue wants to say, gingham dress. But I think that it's pretty clear, right? That these are supposed to be the same. Just a little different. Okay, this is actually really gonna be cute, I think. I remember at some point in my life, I really wanted to be Dorothy, and I think my mom may have made me an outfit or something. I can't quite remember. It's always weird when you forget a memory. It's very scary, kinda hate it. Wish my memory could last forever. Okay, but this is cute. Obviously the quality feels like a Halloween costume, but I actually really like it. It's got like the lace underskirt, which is quite adorable, and it didn't come with the shoes, which is kind of, that's an important piece. So you'd have to like, you know, glitter a pair of shoes or something, might be fun. But this is nice. And I think nobody would wonder who you are. This is the one that I feel like they're pretty close. Like there's not a ton of differences here. Oh my gosh. I was expecting to love this because I mean, it's cute, right? On first glance, but it is literally, this might genuinely be the most itchy dress I've ever worn in my entire life. I swear, did they just shoot little needles through? It's so itchy. It's actually really weird. It's so itchy. Don't buy this if you're sensitive to itchy fabric because it's an itchy fabric. I like the lace under here. I like these. The fit is cute. I feel like the skirt is a nice length. I like the puffy sleeves. The only negative is that it's excruciatingly itchy. Ooh, this one. Actually, wait, is this supposed to be the Wizard of Oz or is this supposed to be like, what is that called? An Oktoberfest? Wait, what is this? Everything's saying Oktoberfest beer, and then the rest is a different light. Okay, beer garden girl. I don't know. I'm pretty sure that these are supposed to be the same. I'm not sure, I'm not 100%. They look the same, they're both blue gingham, so I'm just gonna compare them as such. But this is cute, it's just a little bit shorter, it's got the lace underneath. I actually think this is gonna be quite cute on and kind of flattering, we'll see. Okay, in my eyes, this one is hands down. The Fashion Nova one wins. It is not itchy. It's comfortable. The skirt is a lot shorter, but I actually feel like this is still a really cute silhouette and dress. It is like quite short though. You'd want to pick up things like this. Pick it up. You don't want to do this. Ooh. I mean, or maybe you do want to. It's up to you. I like the ruffles. I like the lace under here. It's a little wrinkly. I may want to steam it if I was going to wear it. But this is really cute. There's not too much to say. I like it. It's far better than the other one. The one, other one is way too uncomfortable. I like the style of the other one more, but this one is just like comfortable, which is weird because you'd think this one was less comfortable. Last but certainly not least, we actually have a character, which I actually was this for Halloween, probably like seven, six or seven years ago. It was when I was in grade 11, I think. OMG, was it that long ago? Oh my God, I'm getting scared. Okay, and that is Scooby-Doo costume. And all of the Amazon ones have the real like trademarks on here. So they've probably been like approved and deemed like, yeah, they're, you're representing the character right. I literally love this outfit. This is a costume that I would absolutely wear. It's basically a onesie. When I was Scooby-Doo, I actually just wore a onesie with ears. It was so comfortable. Loving it. Ooh, there's a spot on the back. That's cute. Thin, almost like velour fabric. Feels weird to call this a velour, but it's like, it's, you can tell, you know? You know, you know what fabric this is. And then we've got the tag, which is a must have, and then the hood with the cute little ears, the tail. 
Let's put it on. The tail is tickling in my arm. Gotta put my head in here. Love it. <gasps> Chip. Chip. Roop. Roop. This is weird. This is weird. Roop. <gasps> Chippy. <gasps> Chippy. All right, you can go now. You did your thing. You did your trick. Go ahead. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, this is a little bit short for me. So it's like a three quarter length. I was expecting a full suit. I also feel like it could be a little more flattering. You know, if you got like the waist cinched. Although I feel like if you're being Scooby, you probably don't care about that. But I mean, it would be a little more flattering. Just saying, we've got this beautiful velour fabric. Why don't we cinch the waist a little? Cause right now it's a little bit bulky here, which is interesting. Cause I kind of have a long torso. I'm five foot five inches and a lot of it is torso. So I'm surprised that I have a little bit of bulking. It's not really about the fit. I'm clearly Scooby-Doo. I don't love this one. Let's see if Fashion Nova did better. Mystery solving pup. Package includes romper, attached tail, headband, and collar. A little scandalous. A mystery solving pup. I wonder what that could mean. This does not have the Scooby-Doo tag. So now it just looks like I'm any old pup. Okay, we could have done a little better with the ear. Okay, the bodysuit. What is going on with the tail? Um, I don't know, you guys. I think Amazon may have won this one. I actually had a friend who went out on Halloween and she did get hypothermia. Was that what it was? Oh no, frostbite. We'll put it on and see. Maybe it'll look better on. Oh no, I didn't stand over there in my costume. There's no comparison. Why are these ears giving me like cat vibes? Let me just fold them over a little because it's just a wire. Oh, actually in the picture, I think that's what you're supposed to do. Okay, sure. That looks a little better. Okay, first things first. Comfy enough bodysuit, honestly. I always feel like this just feels like a one piece swimsuit. So it's comfortable for sure. Definitely more than like the astronaut and the Buzz Lightyear because those were like two pieces. So there was a lot more going on. Like this is comfortable. It's easy to move in. The tail is a little bit lackluster. It's just a giant piece of foam and it just keeps hitting me in the back of the legs. Get back. I'm actually really surprised because I did not think I would like this costume more than the other one. But honestly, you guys, I think this one might be better. And then if you wanted to cover some leg, just throw on some leggings and you're good. And I feel like this is Scooby-Doo. Although the other one's more Scooby-Doo, I just didn't like the fit of the other one very much. I actually feel like this collar is a real dog collar. Like I could put it on chip and it's good. So dual purpose. Okay. Wasn't that fun? Didn't we have a good time trying on some interesting Halloween costumes? I think it's pretty clear that the Amazon astronaut costume and Buzz Lightyear costume were my all time favorite. I would say from Fashion Nova, I probably liked the Wizard of Oz and the Power Ranger the most. Those are my standouts. Those are the ones I suggest to you guys. I hope it was fun. I hope it was entertaining. Let's just go ahead and pick a charity really quick. We have the Endometriosis Network of Canada. So just a refresher, if you are like new to my channel and you're like, what are these charity portion parts of the videos? So you guys submitted a couple months back a bunch of charities because I wanted to do donations that were from you guys to the charities that you guys would like to donate to. And we listed a bunch down in here and we're just slowly making our our way through so that will be today's charity i hope you guys have an amazing halloween be safe have fun and wear wear something fun oh <gasps> that rhymed wait no i just rhymed fun with fun not as impressive as i thought it was anyways thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and i will see you guys in the next one